It's an exchange program initiated by the United States called Tech Women. It's designed to empower women and girls worldwide to harness the power of technology and international exchanges to compete for high-tech jobs. Women from the Middle East and North Africa had lunch at the U.S. State Department recently where Clinton encouraged them to learn as much as they can, not just for themselves, but for their countries. Women have a lot of good ideas, and we don't want those ideas to just die. We want them to be shared and to help others and to create businesses and jobs and improve lives. Silicon Valley is the highest, uh, is the city of the highest the high tech technology in the world. And uh, we was able during this period to see a lot of things and a lot of things that will happen in the future, how the, our future will be in technology. And I think uh, we need that in uh, Arab countries. We need uh, this kind of exchange. So I think I will bring with me the future. We Just are not only for, for, uh, for the country, but for the woman. A big gap between, I mean, the, the level of technological advances in Silicon Valley and Egypt. We need to take um, these these companies as an example and put, it, put them just in front of our eyes and try to follow their paths and accelerate. Technology advances very fast. So if you're not going to come with something very innovative and new, then you're backwards. We hope that you will reach out to women and girls back home who can benefit from what you have experienced because the world needs your contributions. We're going to start working with the poor girls who are uh, away from the civilized areas in Jordan because though those girls do not have any chance of being involved in education or university uh, uh, teaching or something like that because that their father or brothers do not believe that the female has the right to go out. Clinton told the women of a new program to be launched in 2012 called Tech Girls. The program will bring teenage girls from the Middle East and North Africa to the United States. The girls will participate in month-long educational activities related to technology. I'm Frances Alonzo, Women Rising.